hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial so on today's video we're going to be making this dress we have right here so if that sounds like something you're interested in learning do keep on watching and let's get right into the video so guys i went ahead to rule out the lines as you can see here so this is our chest line our bust point line our under bust line our waist line as well as our hip line so i'm just going to mark that out this is what it's looking like now we're going to go ahead to mark out our shoulder line divided by two and i'm going to go ahead to mark that there and after marking that we're going to go down by one inch so next i'm going to go ahead to mark my neckline opening and this is going to be um, the width is going to be three inches then i'm going to make the depth one inch and this is because we are going to use the same pattern for the back as well as the front i'm going to go ahead to roll everything to meet with each other i'm taking down our armhole depth line here i'm going to roll it down and now i'm going to fix in our body measurement divided by four so i'm going to be fixing in our bust point uh, our bust measurement divided by four our under bust measurement divided by four our waist and hip measurement divided by four as well and i'm going to go ahead to mark that out after marking them out i'm going to go ahead to rule the lines to meet with each other so we're going to go ahead to just rule everything out After ruling them out, this is what we have here. So at this hip point area here, we have about 10 inches here. So we're going to take note of that and add three more inches to that, making it 13 inches. So we're going to take this to the bottom part and mark out 13 inches. And this is because we want the opening for the bottom part to be a bit flared out. And that is why we went ahead to add in the 13 inches. So now I'm going to go ahead to rule this to meet with our hip line. After that, from this bottom part here, I'm going to go ahead to come up by one inch and this is to create a curve at that point there. So we're going to rule this all the way back to our original measurements we have there. Next, I'm going to go ahead to cover out my armhole. So I'm going to use my pattern master to just create our armhole curve. Now on our neckline area, I'm going to come down by one inch the way I stated initially and we're going to create the curve for our neckline and like I said, this is because we're going to be using this pattern to cut our back piece as well as our front piece. So I'm going to go ahead to mark that out. So now I'm going to determine how open I want this front part here to be and then I'm going to come up from my chest line by one inch and I'm going to mark this out. After marking this out, I'm just going to rule it like so. Next, from this point here, I'm going to be coming out by 1.5 inches. So I'm going to mark this out here. And then from this point here, our underboss area, we're going to come up by half an inch. This is because we do not want to maintain our original underboss measurement. So I'm going to mark out half inch and we're going to roll this line. So this is going to be our new underboss line. So on this 1.5 inch line I marked out here, we're just going to rule this to meet with our neckline and this is going to serve as the yoke for the front part of our dress now from this point here we're going to come out by half an inch and i'm going to go ahead to mark this out so after marking this out i'm going to curve this to meet with our uh, underboss but before that i'm going to go ahead to mark out my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is 3.5 and i went ahead to mark that out now i'm just going to rule this in a curved motion to meet with that 3.5 inches mark i made so next from this point here we're going to go ahead to drag this to meet with 
our nipple to nipple line we drew out so i'm going to go ahead to rule this out so this is the pattern we're going to be working with i'm going to go ahead to cut this out So this is what it's looking like we're going to go ahead to use this to cut our fabrics so guys this is the fabric we're going to be working with this is 1.5 yards of crepe and this is the lace we are going to be working with as well for the lace one yard of this lace is going to be fine so let's go ahead to start cutting now i'm going to go ahead to cut the back piece first and you can see that i went ahead to place my fabric on fold and i placed the pattern on it and we also left 1.5 inch zipper allowance at this part here so now we're going to go ahead to cut this out leaving 1.5 inch sewing allowance at the sides and half inch at the shoulder parts After cutting this out, we are going to set this aside and start working on our front piece. So for our front piece here, I am going to go ahead to just cut this out just so we, we are able to cut our front piece. So I am cutting the yoke out and then I am going to go ahead to cut this part out as well. So after I was done cutting this out, we are going to go ahead to slash this. So this is the part we just cut out. I am going to go ahead to slash this into 3 pieces. So I am going to go ahead to mark this out and then rule a line so I can slash this. After slashing it, I'm going to go ahead to just label my pattern. So this is what it's looking like. Now I'm going to bring in a fresh piece of paper and we're going to place our pattern pieces on this piece of paper and then we're going to tape this down. And while we are taping this down, we're going to be doing this 1.5 inches apart from each other. So I'm going to go ahead to tape this down. So after I was done taping down the first piece, you can see that I'm going to go ahead to uh, measure this and I'm going to place it down 1.5 inches away from the first one and then we're going to tape this down and go ahead to do the same thing to place the third piece on the pattern paper. Now I'm going to go ahead to just trace this like so and we have our new pattern so after tracing this I'm going to go ahead to cut it out. So these are the patterns we are going to be working with for the front piece. So let's go ahead to start cutting. Now I just went ahead to place my pattern on fold on the fabric and I'm going to cut this out and you can see that I went ahead to leave out 1.5 inches seam allowance and I left out half inches allowance at the top part as you can see while I cut. Oh. 
So for this part here, you'd want to leave out at least 1 inch or 1.5 inches allowance at the top here and this is because we're going to be having a rope at this part here. You can choose to make use of elastic but rope is more preferable so that is what I made use of. So I'm going to go ahead to mark my 1.5 inches at the top and I'm going to roll this out. After rolling this out, we're just going to go ahead to cut this out, leaving out half inches allowance at the remaining parts of the pattern areas. As you can see, I'm leaving out half inches all the way at the sides and at the bottom as well. So after cutting this, we're going to use this to cut out our lace pattern as well, our lace fabric rather. So after cutting out the yoke area as well with the lace fabric, I'm going to go ahead to bring in this pink tool um, mesh and this is what I'm going to use to serve as a lining piece for the yoke area because I do not want to make use of the crepe fabric. So this is what I decided to make use of. You can choose to use the crepe as well. Everything still works depending on what you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to go ahead to cut this out as our lining for the yoke. So after cutting out all our fabric pieces, this is what it's looking like. I also went ahead to cut out the lining pieces for this as well. And this is going to be a full lining. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my lining piece and my main fabric piece together, right sides facing each other. And we're going to sew at the bottom part here. So after sewing and top stitching that part, we're also going to hold this part here together and sew along this part here by half an inch. So guys, after sewing that, we're going to set that aside and work on the yoke. So for the yoke part, we're just going to hold the two piece and the lace together and then we're going to sew. So after sewing, we're going to attach the yoke to the main bodies of the dress. After sewing, this is what everything is looking like. Now we're going to go ahead to attach the yoke to the main bodies of the dress and what we're going to do is we're just going to hold the main bodies and we're going to fix in the yoke in the middle in between the lining piece and the main fabric piece here and then I'm going to pin this down. After pinning this down we're going to go ahead to sew by half an inch and we're going to be doing the same thing for the other side as well. Now we're going to go ahead to sew here by half an inch and then you can see that on the center line here we already went ahead to sew that so we're going to take this machine to sew. So for the back piece this is the main fabric piece and the lining piece here and we're basically going to be doing the joining the same way we did for the front so we're going to sew at the bottom part here over our um, top stitch on it and then sew the sides to cover it up so we're going to go ahead to do that and then come back to show you. After sewing, this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead to flip this over to the right side and give everything a good press and then we're going to move on to work on our bust area. So after this, I'm just going to go ahead to take everything to the sewing, sorry, to the ironing board and give everything a good press. And after that we're going to set this aside and work on the bust area so these are the fabrics for the bust area we're just going to place them together so i'll be placing the crepe fabric first and then we're going to place the lace on the crepe fabric and then we're going to sew around it just to secure the lace and the crepe together so i'm going to go ahead to sew this all the way around and then we'll move to the next step so after sewing this is what it's looking like now i'm going to bring in the strips of fabric i went ahead to sew and this is going to serve as our drawstring for the front part of our bust 
so we're going to go ahead to attach this now so i went ahead to cut this into one for each of the bust area so now we're going to use this to fold this onto our fabric here so i'm going to place this in and you know we left out one inch allowance at the top so we're going to just fold this in and run a stitch along this line we're going to so it doesn't move the string doesn't move at the end of the day so for this second part we're going to do the same thing we did for the first one i explained but we're going to be doing this on the opposite side so when we attach it to our bust the both strings are facing each other so after sewing this is what is looking like you can see what the drawstring area is looking like as well so one thing i also did is i went ahead to attach to make notches at the center here this is going to enable us fix it to our uh, main bodies to our dress so i'm going to just go ahead to notch the second part here so yeah i'm going to go ahead to bring in our main bodies so we can attach this to the bust area but before i do that i'm going to go ahead to create a notch at the bust area here this is going to enable us center our cups and fix it to the bust area so i'm just going to notch this and then we're going to go ahead to fix this to the dress So now we're going to take this to the machine to sew. So guys, to join this, we're going to take this half inch away. And this is because of the drawstring we have at this point here. So we're going to start this below. After that drawstring part is where we're going to start joining this. So we're going to start sewing this by half an inch. So when we get to this part that has the notch here we are going to align the notch we have here and the one we have on the main bodies together so we're going to place them together and this is going to enable us start pleating so after placing this together we're just going to pleat this all the way so we pleat out all the excess fabric we have there and then we go on to sew now we're also going to go on to continue pleating this part so we have all the excess fabric we left out there in and then we're just going to sew the rest of the uh, bust area all the way up so after sewing you should have something that looks like this this is what it was looking like after we're done sewing and when you draw the string at the top here you should have something that looks like this so this is what the cup is looking like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead to sew the other one off camera and we're going to go ahead to finish up the dress after fixing in the both of them this is what our bodies is looking like so far and this is what the other side is looking like as well so on this part here we're going to go ahead to overlock this so we do not have any rough edges at the on the inside so we're going to go ahead to overlock this now i'm going to go ahead to bring in our back piece and i also went ahead to fix in our zipper at the back so this is what the back piece is looking like i'm also going to go ahead to bring in the front piece to place this right sides facing each other after placing the front and the back piece together we're going to go ahead to join the shoulders so what we're going to do is we're going to hold the shoulder part here and we're going to put the front piece in between the back piece fabric and the lining so we're going to sandwich it together so what we did is we took the front piece and we placed it in between the back piece lining and main fabric so we're going to sandwich it together and when we hold it together we're going to just go ahead to sew this all the way down by half an inch to join the shoulders together after joining the shoulders this is what they are looking like so this is what we have so far what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead to place everything down and impute our body measurements divided by two so we're going to go ahead to do that after joining we're going to set this aside and work on our sleeve so for the sleeve we're just going to use this basic long sleeve pattern 
and what we did is we just added two inches to this to make this a bit longer so this is what it's looking like and now we're just going to go ahead to cut this out but we're not going to be cutting this as a straight sleeve we're going to create a slant at the bottom part sort of like a fish tail because i do not want this to be straight so we're going to go ahead to cut it that way but before then i'm just going to mark out how i want the opening to be at the bottom part so i'm going to mark out 2.5 inches outwards so i'm just going to mark out 2.5 inches here and after marking that out we're going to go ahead to cut from that 2.5 inch back into our original measurement we have as you can see so we're just going to cut this out so guys this is the shape of our sleeve this is what our sleeve is looking like so now as you can see i went ahead to stitch this at the sides here all the way down but you can see that i left an opening at this top part here this is going to enable us join this to our dress we're going to go ahead to join this to the dress and we are done with the dress so this is the final result of the dress and we've come to the end of this tutorial if you enjoyed watching please give it a thumbs up comment if you have any questions share with anybody that you feel will find this helpful and i will see you on the next one bye guys